Hello, this is Sam. We're going to go over how to make a blog for the website. Um, we're going to start by typing in our username, which I have already provided to you, hopefully. Uh, just a note, those are case sensitive, so here we're going to use Elder Joel, and uh, the E and the J have to be capital and there has to be a space, so just make sure you're watching that. Um, go ahead and type in the password I gave you, and you hit log in. Now you notice whenever you log in, there's a there's a whole menu here that didn't show up when you weren't logged in, and um, if you're doing a blog, you're what the website calls a special user, so that's very nice. And special users get some other options here. Um, you can submit articles, change calendars, things like that. So we'll go over all that stuff um, first. So we'll go take a look at the blog page here at GGF Blog. Right now, you'll see we're just starting, so there's no blogs listed. So this is actually going to be the first blog. So um, come over here to where it says article submission and you click on that that will bring up this editor and it's called submit an article so first thing you want to do is uh, title your blog so maybe we'll title ours grace uh, most of these little buttons in here you'll probably recognize from word um, right now we don't have the ability to add images or links uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to do that so We'll start out. Uh, first thing you want to do is maybe uh, work on your first paragraph. So uh, what you'll do is type a couple sentences, type a paragraph maybe, and then once you've typed in your first paragraph, what you want to do is come down here to where it says read more. And you click on that and that'll put a red line across your screen. I'll explain what that means in a minute. So that's after your first paragraph, you click read more. So you go ahead and uh, type the rest of your blog whatever that might be okay so there we finished our blog so the next thing you'll do is you come on down here um, to this menu that says publishing um, here you want to click on section and go to blog and then for category I have a, a list of categories here um, if, if there's something I'm missing or you would like to be added um, just let me know I can add more so we'll just say we're writing a blog that has to do with righteousness so we'll select righteousness for the category um, published yes show on front page no don't need to fill out anything in here leave it open to the public um, one thing you can do down here in keywords meta description metadata um, if you want to you can type in a really maybe one sentence description of what your blogs about so that's for search engines when they pick it up for keywords, maybe type in like five to six keywords that relate to the blog you just wrote. So um, if you're writing about righteousness, you could put in righteousness, Christ, Christianity, just things like that. Keywords that relate to the blog you wrote. So, okay, so you just wrote your first blog. Um, great. You come up here and you click on save. Okay, it'll say article successfully saved. That's what you want it to say. And it, this takes you back to the home page. So then what you have to do to see your blog is you click on GGF blog again. Voila, there it is. Great. And uh, I'm actually going to set it up so the name of the person who wrote the blog, blog will also be shown here on this list. Um, if you come back later and decide you want to change something in one of your blogs, you can also do that. Sign in. This little notepad and pencil, if you click that, it takes you in so you can edit any blogs you've done in the past. Um, when I told you earlier to click on the Read More button, what that does is on this page, which kind of displays the recent blogs, the first paragraph that you wrote, it will show here on this screen, and then the user will have to click Read More, which is what we want. We want them to click on Read More, and that will take them in to see the rest of the blog. So uh, that's the basics of uh, writing blogs. If you have any questions, just let me know.